So yeah, she's used to pulling me. I want this, and then watch this. I want your back curve. Ah, okay. So there's not, this thigh isn't that high. Now, what happens is if I bring up the thigh real high, I get a real loud click and pop, and everybody goes, wow, that was amazing, Andy. I really popped the joint there. I'm not trying to pop every joint in your back. I'm trying to close the joints. Well, that and pop, your pop, pop more than they usually get. So there you go. <laughs> That's okay. That one felt better. <laughs> okay, I found it, yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yep, so mainly on my right side, my entire life um, starts in the very base, like the very top. Okay. And it feels like I've gotten chiropractor adjustments before, but it never hits mm -hmm. that final, like that up here at the very top. Um, and it's just a pain as I've gotten older, it's progressively worked its way down to where it's in my SI joint, um, just tense all over. Now I'm always at a computer all day, so I... A lot of sitting. Yes. I, I get regular, just a little small adjustments. But nothing deep tissue. But nothing, because it, it stops the migraines. Okay, we're going to... So the adjustment in of itself doesn't change posture, and we'll, I'm mm -hmm. sure you watch some of my content. We're going to teach you today a little bit about that arch in your neck that needs okay. to be there. That's what gets rid of the constant tension and it's going to give you a longer okay. distance between adjustments. But something else happened with your yes. thigh here that I would love uh, to see again because you showed me this picture and I just want to... Yes. A tree fell on my car. Um, with you in it? Yes, with me in it. So that's why the door is open. Let me find the video or the picture. Sorry, my phone's going crazy. But here's the... I was The door was open and I was getting in it as the tree fell. And, um, so we're happy that you're here today. Yeah, that's thanks. A, that's a, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm like, and then this created. You said, I, you know, yeah, an injury. We have a kind of a dent. There's a fat pocket there, and then you can feel when you're pressed on it. You can feel the. And hole. you haven't had anybody really look at this. All right. I've had an this? MRI done on it. Okay. But no one's ever worked on you it. Ever mentioned the word hematoma? Did they ever say that? That's what they thought it was at first, uh -huh. but it's been five years. Okay. And well, it doesn't. It could calcify. So sometimes okay. I've had, so I had a patient serious. who fell on an ice skating rink, and she went right on her bottom. And now, I, within a w month or a week or so of the injury, we immediately started, you know, releasing what uh -huh. was trapped in there. A lot of a hematoma is dead blood. You know, it's yeah. cl like clots, and then your body kind of walls it up and can pocket it. Okay. Now, if it's been five years, you know, I'm, I don't. It might be already. Two to, onion yeah. to do with something about, but I would still be curious just to at least try to hydrate it a little bit, see yeah. if we can wash it up a little bit and clean it up for you. Yeah. You said lower back, is it going down the leg? You said not completely. So it, it's one of those things where I just constantly feel I like I need to stretch. Tension. Yeah, and it's and it'll get better if I massage it and don't move. Okay. And then the minute I try to start walking a whole bunch or working out, yeah, it's there. What, what primarily that's going on is that part of your back is doing everything, yeah. and that part that's doing everything is seeking some some, <laughs> some relief. <yeah. laughs> if we can just get the rest of your spine working, okay. a lot of that stress is going to be gone. Feel about an inch. Your head's forward from your shoulder, about an inch. All right. All right. Okay. So feel your hips here. Okay. Left hip's a little high. All right. And then your head is just translated over to this left side. Your head. <laughs> like like good. You know, so yeah. there's, and you said the right side is the one with the yes, yeah. but everyone always tells me my left side is the tight side when they well, feel it is. yeah. So they're <laughs> oh, <laughs> let's let's think this through here, guys. Her head is in right avoidance. So right now, where's all my contraction right now? <laughs> right yeah. to get my head away from the very thing that's the injury. Nice to... Right, your head is it's, it's it's obviously translated. And so my point is that the contraction, the tightness, is of course because that's helping you avoid the monster that's up here. It's I can sleep like that. Like, Correct. I'll be like. I know. Well, <laughs> that's feeding it. Yeah. So we're going to talk today. We're actually not going to allow you to keep growing this. We're, well, with the whole neck working evenly, and we're going to go in there and clean it up so that you're not just pinching one area. Okay. Let me start on your back. Line. All right. You're going to take one deep breath in for me, and then head back for me. Let all the air out. Keep going. Okay, deep breath in. It's okay. Head back. Let it all go. Ooh. Ooh. Deep breath in. Here we go. Exhale. Chin down. Oh. Okay. Yeah, a couple resistant areas. We're going to get them all. I'm going to okay. that first one. 
this area, this is the explanation. So I have, you know, let's say a pass rating in motion in the upper and middle back, but the middle lower <laughs> didn't like me so much. We're going to loosen that up on your side facing me. Here we go. Yeah, bring this. You're hurt. You're hurt. Here we go. Relax your hips. Here we go. Breathe. Exhale. Here we go. On the side for me. Good. See, they, they're used, you're used to having your knee up real high. Right? Yes. All right, so I, I, I can tell what previous people have done to you. I've been like, wait. I know, and I'm not doing the same, am I? I know. See, uh, it's like habits that like she's gone through with previous chiropractors. All right, the, your lower back should have a curve in it. Yes. Right? And if I pull your knee up real high, it's flattening it. Yeah. So why the heck should I adjust you in a position that you don't belong in? Your back belongs curved. So I'm adjusting you. I'm actually trying to keep that knee down. You keep on. <laughs> <laughs> no. And my dad has taught me to adjust. We're trying to aim you to the right position, not pull you into a yes. feel better position. So back on your side. I'm sorry. Okay. We'll show you. Little, All right. I don't. A little more on your side. There we go. So yeah, she's used to pulling me. I want this. And then watch this. I want your back curve. Ah, okay. So there's not, this thigh isn't that high. Now, what happens is if I bring up the thigh real high, I get a real loud click and pop and everybody goes, wow, that was amazing. And you really popped the joint there. I'm not trying to pop every joint in your back. I'm trying to close the joints. That and pop, your pop, pop more than they usually get. So there you go. <laughs> it's okay. That one felt better. <laughs> I know. All right, put your hand right there in your belly. It's okay. There we go. Deep breath in for me. Exhale. There we go. There we go. I got you. All right, there we go. Here we go. All right, there we go. Face that for me. It's okay. Hello. Yes. Something in that the is reason. a large bump here. Yes. Yeah. You <laughs> can this, feel it. Yeah, right wow. there. Yeah. All right. And everyone always says, like, oh, mm -hmm. I see it, and then they ignore it. Right. Yeah. No, get to work. <laughs> yeah, it's actually pretty. It's almost like a fluid kind of. Yeah, that's it like, right there. Yeah, we got to, you know, let me see if I can, I if I can show it to you, but for the viewers, but there's a, that's the best I can show you, babe. Yeah, let me come up here. My hand's going over the tissue in there that's inflamed. We're going to release it. I got you. All right. Mm -hmm. I got your head. It's okay. Okay, I'm just checking. Let me have your head. I got you. Yeah, it's okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Real gentle. Let me have your head. Chin up. Chin up. There we go. Good. Okay. All right. Yep. It's limited. Okay. If it moved beautifully, I'd be confused. Yeah. <laughs> if your neck was... We are the first one to like really acknowledge it, and that's I appreciate it so much. Okay. If it, this is all bound up up here. You're gonna have headaches and migraines because the nerves that come out of here overlap with the nerves that cause headaches. Yeah. So we gotta get rid of all this. And I get really bad brain fog too. Do you think that could be? Well, the drainage of your head goes down your neck. Yeah. Like the sewer pipes, and so essentially inflammation can accrue and build up in your neck because the the drain lines aren't functioning properly. So we call these lymphatics. Okay. The lymphatics don't have a heart like your circulatory system. It's based on mobility. When an area is tight or guarded or posturally tense, then there's not going to be proper drainage. It's going to cause inflammation to build up, which then can cause brain fog or mm -hmm. can cause ringing in your ears. It can cause infection. It can cause a myriad of problems. But yeah, you need time. This all has to we'll get it. And your head doesn't like coming over here. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. Yeah, this is simply just tight because it's helping you get away from the injury on your right. This is <laughs> what we call the compensatory. And then eventually this side will become the more painful side because it's the tighter. It's doing all the work. Yeah. Right. You said earlier you do a lot of your work sitting. Yes, I'm on the computer all day. All right, well, there's some things we can show you. When you're sitting, some support behind your back. Okay. I'm going to show you real support and what that looks like, and we'll go over that. But everything moving. The posture determines the tightness. If the more forward your head goes, the tighter the muscles are going to be, the more pressure is on the disc. So the disc has no feeling, it doesn't regenerate, it defines every back surgery, <laughs> and almost there really isn't much value put on the disc until it's gone. Yeah. And that's ultimately, that's why I asked you 
if there's symptoms going down your arms. That the reason, the basis of that question helps me to understand if we're, we call them, uh, space occupying lesion or if there's nerve root compression. So just because we don't have the disc hitting the nerve yet doesn't mean the disc might not be in trouble. Mm -hmm. And so how about we not go down that path and let's prevent, let's do everything possible to prevent. <laughs> how do we do that? We gotta make sure that the spine is aging evenly. So if part of your neck is real tight, it's like a tooth that you're not chewing on. Mm -hmm. Another part's going to age at a faster rate. If one area is doing half of what it's supposed to do, another area is going to do double. So it concerns me that this area is all bound up because who's doing all the work then? <laughs> if if this isn't doing it, and the other side isn't. then somebody else is going to do it, right? And so we want to have your neck balanced. A hundred years, chiropractors believe that adjustments change posture. It's not true. We have to mold and stretch. So everything I do on this table is to prep your spine, get it supple and malleable and flexible enough that the stretching works. Once you're able to stretch, have a nice life, keep doing your stretching. <laughs> and Ed, I feel great, I have no symptoms. And that's where we, and when you're unable to stretch, you come back in an adjustment and that's where the care, um, that's how you can participate in the care and then you can take care of yourself. Your neck doesn't even go here, like way back here. Wow. I get, there's a lot of resistance. I got strong, yeah. like your neck really doesn't want to be back in the curved position. Your neck wants to be in the ortho. Yeah, I feel it like trying to. Okay, yeah, stop. it wants to be here. Yeah. You know, you're, it's not something that you've been, <clears throat> your neck has been used to doing. There you go. Doing right. There's already a mark coming out. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. How's that yeah. feel? Is it? I mean, it should feel good, it, yeah, it, I mean, it shouldn't hurt. it's funny when you watch it, I feel, it looks like you're like putting like a ton of pressure on it, and mm -hmm. yeah, no, it's like a mm -hmm. little brush, mm -hmm. almost. Yeah, there's already a mark right here. Headache city right here. Mm -hmm. Right up in the suboccipital area. The mark is never normal. It's always a result of you know, some sort of muscular injury, tightness in a muscle that's been there too long, posturally or guarding. And so as those go away, the mark actually won't be something that comes out consistently the tissue will actually be self-cleaning. Okay. It's like a stain in your carpet or plaque on your teeth. It shouldn't be there. It's the result of not having me in your life or my father or <laughs> you know, proper care. And then obviously the dental hygienist teaches you to give you a toothbrush and you have to participate. It's not just all on the dentist to keep your teeth clean. There are things you can do to prevent this from rebuilding back up. So it was just about to storm, and so I was running to get into my car from the gym, and then you hear, I heard something that sounded like thunder. Right. And then it was, the tree just came. So I guess the thunder was sound the was the tree. Cracking sound, and then, wow. But it was like right when it was eerie, like a storm was about to start. It hadn't even started yet. Angels with you. Yeah. I think angels were with you. Well, that's what I say. Mm -hmm. I mean, it hit your head or do it. Just yeah, be, be, it could be, have done be, anything. Be it. Your neck belongs back here. And that's the whole the whole idea is to get your neck supple enough to be able to accept this. And then there's not going to be tension. There's not going to be inflammation in your neck and lactic acid and gua sha marks. I'm just trying to free up a little bit. Everything's just sort of... There we go. Let's get together. I got you. Mm -hmm. Okay, almost there. I'm sorry, come on. Let me have it. Relax here. All right, I'm done. I'm just greedy. <laughs> there we go. I know, there's more in there. Try as much as I can get out of there. But this is one of those necks where the second visit I get double the movement. You know, it's like you have to build up a staircase kind of idea. You're walking up a, a hill and Every visit, we improve the mobility of this. It just takes time for it to get acclimated to moving properly. This has just been frozen for too long. And I've had it for my entire life, so oh, i got yeah. all the time in the world to get it fixed. <laughs> I can't wait. All right, we'll get that loosened up. 
Yeah, only thing I can think of is when I was really young, I fell off a bike and hit my chin. And so I had to get stitches on my chin, so it was hard enough to, like, maybe that was the whiplash. Yeah. Well, you just, if you hit your chin, you mean your chin went up and you jammed all this, and then your neck went, there we go. Yeah. So if it went back into the right, your head's going to go forward and left to get away from it. Mm. And that's what I'm feeling is. Oh, look up, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was just sitting like this, it already feels like... You can move your neck. Yeah. I'm going to loosen all That's that. That's crazy. Wow, it's just tension just throughout. All the way down. Yeah. I'm just glad. I was scared I was going to come and you were going to be like, man, this is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! You you do you definitely have something in here. Gee whiz! Okay, good. You know, I'm surprised you've made it this far, and I'm sorry nobody's take, taking it seriously. <laughs> I have strong thumbs. There's a lot of your neck does not want to bend back, uh -huh. and that takes the first checkpoint is 20 20 minute stretches. We have to. So I'm going to show you that neck den roll. You're going to take one home. Okay. That orthotic is going to be your toothbrush that you're going to be able to care for your own spine. And you're, you've already been prepped. You've already had chiropractic care. Does that make sense? You've already been adjusted. Mm -hmm. Even though I might disagree with how they've adjusted you, <laughs> you've already been at least adjusted. Your spine has been limbered. You've already had some deep tissue work. So a lot of the prep work is already done. So we're ready for. That makes sense. We're, re we're ready to jump right into the stretching. Some people I need to spend more time prepping them, getting them ready for stretching. Um, but you know, all of this. Can't have anything. No tenderness here. This is this is the cause of your lower back. Yeah, and that's leg. tender right through there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not bad though. You can get it harder if you all need. Right, all right, all right. I'm learning <laughs> you. All right. Well, careful. Uh -huh. All right, I'm learning you. Women are always the toughest patients. Man. They're always just <laughs> men are such weenies. Uh, women are like tougher. Go, yeah, get it. Out of me. It's so true. The men who come in here are hilarious. Mm. They're, They're always like. <laughs> Needs a lot of this. Just needs time. This is just me doing a song and dance and <laughs> scrubbing. This is just all needs to be scrubbed out of here. This is all in my way. When I ask you to stretch, if this is here, your ability to properly stretch is impaired. So we have to adjust, massage, uh, you know, comb, then stretch, and kind of cycles cycles of that to get this out of here. Have you all always been in Sarasota? Pretty much my whole life. My wife's from the East Coast. Uh -huh. Daytona Beach area. Okay, nice. Need a It's rare these days now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I've been looking for stuff that would help me, mm -hmm. and I think a video popped up. Mm -hmm. oh. Cool. Excellent. And then I think I saw your sister on Brenda? Snapchat. Oh, cool. I think hers was on. She's the queen. Yes. <laughs> she's she's a little bit scarier than you are. Oh, cool. <laughs> cool. Sorry, Brent. <laughs> I mean that the nicest. Of course, I know. I, <laughs> she, she beats me up. Don't worry. <laughs> she gets me. In. She was the boss of when we were children. She was the. <laughs> the posture. This is where you said one of the first things we talked about was the sitting. Yeah. So when we're sitting, we're gonna try to create some new habits. Try to reduce the amount of time we bend forward, or if we have to sit, we put something behind your back to lessen the impact it has on your spine. You know, there's things that we have to adjust to make a difference. Um, otherwise, it's just, yeah, it felt good for a couple hours. Thanks, Ed. You know, and you didn't really change anything. And that's... You know, Currently, would, that's a win for me. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, that's, we're going to weigh more than that. That's just <laughs> a lifetime. And then we're changing. That's what makes me 
love coming into work is watching people's lives be changed. That's what's so rewarding. So you guys, you guys think it's about for her? It's for me. <laughs> I, I, I like the lives changed. Amazing. My favorite analogy. My wife said I might say too much is. Nobody wants a peanut butter and jelly sandwich where all the peanut butter's in one clump and the jelly's all in another clump. <laughs> and you take a bite and all you get is bread, right? Or all jelly. You want to spread the work. And that's part of what I'm doing here. I'm trying to take all the work that's been located in one area and spread it out over all the vertebrae. And that's just what I do for a living. And then the, the, the stretching seals it and maintains it for a longer period of time. And that's it. Can't make it more complicated. It's not <laughs> This is an older injury right here. So it should be more reddish and when it, gets, it comes out like kind of more purplish or dark, it's like dead blood that's been okay. kind of stuck in these tight areas. Mm -hmm. I can tell you've had some some vacuuming, but there's not been any like carpet clean. You know, yeah. hasn't been any deep cleaning to these spots, like here and here. So the middle back should work before your lower back. This area being tight, the sitting pops this middle back out, makes it stiff. This is supposed to be your primary engine of your lower back. So this being congested then throws all the work down to your lower back, along with the loss of curve, is what puts all the stress in your lower back, which then goes down your leg. So two things, getting this unlocked and then restoring the arch, the lumbar lordosis. Our world isn't guiding us in, in health care of the spine. There's too much yeah. interest in just reactive care. And, um, and it isn't fun to confront. It's easier to avoid your problems in life. And you know, it's easier said than done than to, to turn around and confront the very monsters that you've been running away from. It's like, Ed, it doesn't feel good. So when we're sitting, this is where we're going to be placing something. <laughs> Water bottle, dental roll. That needs attention in here. This is all tangled. Can you feel that? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right there. Yeah, that's the only place where you rub on both sides. That, that hurt. It's uncomfortable, right? Yeah, that's the where rest most, look good. That's where all the mark came out. This is where it's the most congested. And I can feel it through the elbow. I can feel all the tangle that's alongside the spine. It's Right there. Right there. Has anybody found this spot? Anybody? No. Ever? No. Okay. Nope. Nobody. Nobody honed in on that. That's where it all is. It's the whole thing. See, what happens on MRI and x-ray, I was trying to mention this earlier about osteoarthritis, this area won't age. Because it's stiff, it remains like in a time capsule. And so the imaging, if it, the imaging was taken of your spine, this would remain looking young. Mm -hmm. And so it's often ignored or not addressed. Nobody answers the question why it isn't aging. Yeah. <laughs> because if you can't understand why this isn't aging, you'll never understand why another area is aging too quickly. Yep. All right, all right. I'm going too hard. Let me know. I'm going to keep going yeah, deeper. Yeah, feels good. All right, good, good. Here we go. Tomorrow's going to be like going to the gym and doing a big workout. It's going to be <laughs> and, um, a little tender in some of those areas. <laughs> not sure if I like you anymore. You'll feel great this evening. My point is that you'll, the day you work out, you feel great, right? Yeah. It's the next morning that you realize how out of shape you were. You know, this is out of shape in, in that sense. That it's not functioning as it's supposed to, and tomorrow morning you're going to understand it. Oh, Ed was right. Is it the same on this side too or just not as bad? It's grisly. It's not as, it, the left side has it all in one ball. Uh -huh. This is more spread out. Because I've probably focused on that side. Okay. And like when I do like, I have one of those um, percussion massagers. Okay. And I just focus on this side because this is where I see the pain. <laughs> no, the, the, the tightest part's over here on the left. Yeah. This is all, I don't like it either, but I would give this like a C plus. This would be an F. Oh, you know, I mean, okay. I'm not happy with the C plus, but you know, it's better than the app. It's it's this is functioning. Yeah, I can see this is functioning. I don't have it's it's spread out. It's all spread out. This is all in one. You had one knot. It's like one mountain right there. Yeah. It's in one. Boop 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 right there. I'm not sure if Carl, you can, there. It's hard to see externally, but I can feel it. 
internally it's been tangled and knotted up. I'll show you, this is all... Oh my gosh, yeah, that's the spot, right? Right there on that side, there's all bruised. Crazy. Mm -hmm. the shoulders. Wow. <laughs> So the SI joint, this is the joint we're trying to adjust on your side. The goal is to loosen this joint, take stress off your lower back. There we go. All right. That feels lovely. <laughs> it actually, it doesn't feel bad. It's just like my muscles switching. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, all right, gotta get on the side. <laughs> mm -hmm, it's like over here. Yeah. Oh, the side. oh, wow. That's where I'll become a baby. Mm. How tender? Where am I at here? Uh, it's not tender at all right there. Okay. Yeah. I'm going too hard. Let me know. I'm just going to... It's getting a little bit more tender there, but it's not. It doesn't hurt. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, I found it, yep. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Yeah, it's worse on this the side. side. Mm -hmm. It's like I can feel myself not wanting you to go. Don't go over there, Ed. <laughs> Yeah, it's like I'm. Okay, okay. It's okay, I'm just. Yeah. These, these, these weren't mine, but these are from some up in the stuff or? That's from the... A fair gun. Fair gun. Interesting. Okay. All right. You're hard to watch. Okay. Yeah. Getting in there deep. Oh, I yeah. got it on this side too, I think. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see if we can resolve this. All right. All right. All right. It's okay. <laughs> Ooh. You're great. I hate my legs being worked on. <laughs> Matt, it's like, it's like my least favorite. Thing. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay. Yeah. No, it's okay. Do whatever you need to do. I I'm breathe. Just... Yeah. Bite the proverbial ah, dow rod. Yeah, there it is. Mm -hmm. Lengthen. You're trying to lengthen this tissue. The knee. Is just suffering because of this area being tight. Shortening tightens these muscles. What is sitting? Sitting. I say shortening tightens. Sitting. <laughs> sitting tightens these muscles. Shortening. I say shortening tightens these muscles. Sitting tightens. Maybe even muscle shortening from the injury. <laughs> oh yeah, right there. That's tender there too. There's still some in this quad too. We definitely have some, but this doesn't hurt as bad. No, I mean it's yeah. tender, but not not near as bad. No. Mm -hmm. That's the one that I had the surgery on. Uh -huh. Maybe it maybe stiff. Ooh. <laughs> Makes me feel good. Check how much you can. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see this other one. Mm -hmm. 
Uh -huh, yeah, we gotta work on this knee. All right, maybe stand up for me if you can. The heel. That gets a little bit uh -huh. here, but. Okay. Yeah. Once you're mastering, then the next piece is that you actually start then leaning back. I've always been curious what this does. <laughs> it helps the drainage, just the drain lines that affect your sinuses, allergies, all that drains down the neck. I would say a large portion. Let me, let me get a picture of your neck, actually. I don't think you get a good angle of that one. So go ahead and let your head tilt back for me a little bit. I want to show you this first. Then. All right, go ahead and look straight forward. I'll show you your neck here. All right. So that's the... Oh, wow. This is all congested above where it's the most mobile. So in the lower neck, you're going to age that faster because this is where all the hypermobility is, and we want to, up there at the top part of your neck... Is where it's actually supposed to is be. Where it's, is where it's stuck, right? You're frozen up here, and that's what's allowed your lower neck to be overworked. That's what's causing your head to translate. It's all an avoidance of your lower neck because your upper neck is bound up. Because of that. Because of the congestion, right? And then on the other side of it, there's another mark on the right side. That's, that's what's causing your headaches. Okay. Tilt your head to the right for me. Tilt right. There we go. Yeah. Cool. Tilt your head to the right for me. Okay. <laughs> all right. Go ahead and tilt left. There we go. Easy. It's hurting. Yeah. It's nice and supple. Left for me. Tilt left. You okay, jinxed it. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> This is the size she needs. Yeah. And you fall asleep. And yeah, this is, this I could. And then even a little bit of right rotation is okay. So there's a little bit to work that right side. So I'm going to go over the pitch positions and not do it in just to. So I don't want it all the way down your lower neck, all the way like down here. This yeah. is too too low. Get the idea. Okay. I don't want it so high either. So I don't want it up here. Uh -huh. You see how your chin is down still. Yeah. And you, I want just enough upper neck, but enough that your head's going over the device. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And then, and then to, the right to the right. Yeah. I can feel it. I mean, it feel it feels good like this. Sometimes I'll take my hand and I'll press it in my forehead. So you just take your hand, just gently kind of press the head into the mold, and that will get easier the more you do it. Does that make sense? Just mm -hmm. briefly for a few seconds, and then put your hand back down. Okay. You're just trying to get the head to sink just into the device a little, a little bit. bit yeah. As you do it more, it won't be necessary. Your head will just comply and become more comfortable and familiarized with being in the right position. Okay. It takes time to make the spine soft again. So 26 is full skeletal maturity. We're five years past that. So if you were 21, I'd say three visits and we're done because you're still soft. After 26, it takes more care to bring us back to that suppleness so that the stretching is effective. Otherwise, otherwise I just get on QVC and sell stretches. Hi, Dr. Eddie, lay on the center on, you'll be all better. Right? I can't do that because you have to be prepped. Right? I don't just sell dental rolls, and, and nor is it a good idea. People ask me, can, can you mail me a dental roll? I'm like, actually, I can't because you have to be worked on to safely stretch. <laughs> yeah, Great. Thank, right, you. thank you. Thank you so much. Very good. Thank you. Thank you.